So, um, first, uh, sorry for giving this, uh, uh, this speech in, in English, but uh, I'm not uh, uh, fluent in Spanish. I'm a Brazilian. Um, and um, I work for a, a company called ArcTouch, which is based in uh, San Francisco. Um, I am a, a mobile software engineer and uh, also a tech lead there. Um, uh, most of my work, uh, besides of uh, working for ArcTouch, is uh, I'm a contributor uh, for the Swift language, and as well with uh, the Google Methful framework. Um, I am really passionate about uh, network protocols, so uh, whenever I try to build something, um, usually I uh, end up doing something that needs to communicate to another thing just to create a new protocol. <laughs> uh, and I also love uh, reverse engineering. So I, I all, uh, all the time I, I, I try to uh, open things and try to see how things actually works. And usually uh, there is a, a screw or two that uh, is left alone when I try to build it again. But, uh, other than that, it's, uh, it's perfectly fine. So let's start speaking about me and start speaking about core Bluetooth. So um, to start, uh, these are the things that you need to um, know better before you end up uh, actually going through the, the core Bluetooth framework. So, uh, because everything is based on the, on the uh, data struct, so everything is white. So you need to know how you want to transform that data into integers or strings or whatever. Uh, you also need to know what is the uh, indianness that you are uh, speaking in, in that protocol. So it is big Indian, little Indian. Um, and in order to perform operations, uh, usually uh, you need to know about bitwise operations. So uh, some uh, logic operators like not and or, or sure. I guess that is uh, pretty much standard for all of us here. Um, and bit manipulation and bit mask as well. Because uh, since the the, uh, the Bluetooth protocol uh, is so um, well packed together, uh, you need to maximize the amount of data that you are uh, communicating to to the other peripheral uh, in the last uh, bit possible. Sorry, the last amount of bit possible. So what exactly is Core Bluetooth? Core Bluetooth is a framework uh, uh, packed in the Mac OS SDK and the iOS SDK uh, that allows you to communicate with uh, Bluetooth devices. So uh, right now we, we already have, for instance, uh, on iPad OS, uh, the ability to use uh, Bluetooth mouses or uh, Bluetooth keyboards uh, in your iPad. But uh, before that, you could use Core Bluetooth and implement that stack uh, and use mouse or keyboard or whatever uh, inside your application. And you can also use this framework to, uh, so you can, your device can become uh, Bluetooth peripheral. So your device can be a mouse, can be a Bluetooth, or, um, a keyboard or whatever you want. So uh, this talk is, is about uh, just the core functionality and how you, you, what you need to get started with the technology. I'm not going to uh, 
uh, go any anywhere deep. Um, since it is a pretty standard, pretty easy uh, framework to learn, it's just that uh, usually people think that uh, this framework is something magic, uh, since it's uh, something that most of the people are not used to work. Uh, so I'm here to, to talk about that and uh, dismissify um, what exactly is Bluetooth and how it works. So how does it work? Um, basically, there are two major components, right? Uh, you have uh, what is called central uh, in the SDK and the peripheral. Well, basically central is uh, your device, which is trying to connect to a peripheral. A peripheral could be a mouse, a keyboard, something that you're trying to connect, okay? And it works basically by, the peripheral is broadcasting that it's available. I am a Bluetooth device and I have uh, this name and uh, these services inside me. Um, and then a central will scan those broadcasts and listen to any peripheral devices that is advertising any information that uh, your app wants. So a central is represented by a CB central manager. So this is a class uh, inside um, the core Bluetooth uh, SDK. Inside of uh, the center, there's um, some uh, methods in order to start scanning, uh, uh, request for services uh, for a peripheral, uh, characteristics, and things like that. So uh, a peripheral, like I said, it is uh, it's a device that you want to connect, right? And every device have at least one service. Um, a service uh, in this example here uh, could be a battery service. And one characteristic of that service is the battery level. So I can reach out to that characteristic and uh, retrieve information there that says like uh, your battery is in 50%, for example. I could also have another characteristic in the service, uh, in the battery service, saying that uh, that battery is currently charging or not. Um, and things like that. So each service uh, and characters has a UUID of uh, 16 or 128 uh, bits long. Uh, and it's pretty much it. Um, this number, uh, uh, this UUID for some services are um, standard uh, through the Bluetooth uh, foundation. So you can uh, use the bluetooth.org in order to search for uh, common uh, services between devices. So usually a battery service is something that is uh, implemented in all uh, devices. So, and it's always that address. So you can use that in order to retrieve that information. So let's start coding, which I guess is the best way of explaining how things work. Um, basically, you need to first import core Bluetooth to your project. Uh, and here I created just a, a simple class Sorry, I, I'm hearing some feedback from, from I'm not sure, from where. Hey, could you explain, uh, it, it is a server, yeah? It's like it's in the central, so it's the, the, service, the service that will, will be listened to the peripherals, yeah? Correct. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't say that, but uh, feel free to uh, interrupt me if you have any questions. 
um, so in this class here, uh, I just created something to uh, listening for uh, whatever device available uh, in the regions of my uh, of whatever I'm running. So I can run this on my Mac or on my uh, iPhone, and it will uh, check for the battery uh, level in that device. Okay. So I have here in these two lines, uh, right after the, my, my class uh, instrumentation, uh, the service uh, UUID for the battery and the characteristic uh, representing the battery level. Um, so in this constructor, I will create the CB central manager and setting the delegate to be the same class. And then the central manager did update state is one of those, um, those delegate method, methods, um, which will uh, be triggered as soon as I start my manager or scanning. So um, in this delegate, I'm checking if uh, my central has, um, Sorry, if my Bluetooth is on on my device or I have uh, the right um, permission uh, to run since, uh, since iOS 11, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you need uh, permission from the iOS uh, to run Bluetooth connections. So as soon as I get that, uh, and I know that I have uh, the go ahead from the the OS, uh, I can start scanning for peripherals. Um, I could pass the list of uh, services that I want uh, in that parameter with services. Um, but since I want uh, whatever um, uh, Bluetooth device here, uh, I I'm just going for it. Uh, but basically, it's just a filter for whatever device, okay? Another delegate for the central manager is the did discover. So as soon as I get the device um, or my central manager get a device, uh, discover a device, it's going to be triggered by this delegate, which uh, will then uh, get me a peripheral uh, his advertisement data. So it's basically a dictionary with uh, some <clears throat> some information like uh, name, uh, UID of main services, and things like that. Uh, the RSSI uh, is the, the signal, uh, how strong the signal is from that device. So in that delegate method, method I'm just uh, stop scanning since I don't need to scan anymore. I'm setting the peripheral to my class just to get it uh, saved somewhere, setting the delegate for that peripheral, and then I try to connect to it. As soon as I connect to the device, uh, the did connect delegate method will be triggered and then I can discover services for that device. Then uh, we have the delegates for the peripheral. Uh, the did discover services will be triggered as soon as uh, I get all the services from that device. And then I can loop through the services and check if any of the services there is the, uh, the battery services that I need. As soon as I found it, I need to get all characteristics available for that uh, peripheral and that server. So after that, um, after I uh, uh, ask for all characteristics for that device, 
uh, for that service, sorry, uh, the did discover characteristics for uh, will be called. And as a parameter, I will receive the service. And I can then look through the characters for the servers, uh, for the service. And I then check for the characters uh, battery. And I then get uh, set uh, notify value to true for that characters, uh, which means that I'll be starting to get uh, notifications uh, for that characters as soon as uh, it changes. So if the battery level in this case change, uh, I'll be notified in my app or in my delegate method, method uh, just below. Uh, so the did update value for characteristic uh, is, uh, is going to be called as soon as I get a notification for that uh, for that characteristic that I just uh, set to be uh, notified. Uh, I can also force a read on that characteristic uh, just to avoid uh, having a bunch of notifications uh, to that characteristic. So in that line, uh, over there, uh, the did update value for uh, method. Uh, I'm just converting uh, the value, which is a, in, uh, in data, uh, to a string, uh, and then printing it. And I also have a method uh, to get. Uh, to get triggered as soon as I disconnect to that device. So if that device gets out of range or, uh, I don't know, you turn off the device or even you turn off the Bluetooth on your device, uh, that method will be called. So you can start the process for scanning for peripherals again. Any, any questions so far? No? Okay. So some of the best practice uh, around core Bluetooth is to be mindful about uh, the, use of, uh, the usage of radio and the power consumption, since uh, getting notified for every uh, characteristic has changed. Uh, can drain your battery pretty quickly. So that actually is not a bad best practice. It's more like a, for debug purposes, or even if you have uh, something that actually needs to be like constantly reading some characters. Otherwise, uh, you, you need to be like uh, having a, a throttle mechanism to read to that characteristic. Uh, you should only scan for devices when you need to. And you can, you need also to scan for data uh, only when needed. Um, and subscribe to a character's value uh, if that changes often. Um, so um, this is some of the, uh, of the best practice that I learned working for uh, 3M uh, while I was working on that project. Uh, we build, sorry, I, I'm not showing any, anything related to that here on, on, my, um, on my keynote, uh, just because uh, they actually not allowed me to, to show. Um, but um, while working on, on that project, uh, we developed uh, a sensor uh, to, to be installed with the air conditioning filter uh, uh, that is uh, sold in whatever 
facing in the US uh, since the air conditioning system there uh, for the entire house. Um, and people usually uh, try to uh, forget when they install the filter and those filters uh, can get dirty, can uh, have actually a uh, expired date. Uh, so that sensor is actually to measure temperature, uh, air pressure, and the dirtiness on that filter. That filter. So uh, we come up with the sensor and create an app for that, trademark. Um, and um, that actually, the app is actually on the store right now. It's called Fuel Treat uh, and it's pretty cool. Um, so you can buy uh, 3M filters, which came with this, this yellow sensor uh, inside them and uh, pair with your app and you can um, check the air quality in your house. Uh, so yeah, I uh, guess that's it. Um, so another thing that you can do um, with uh, Core Bluetooth is to actually make your device to be a peripheral, uh, so to speak. Um, you can do that by using the CB Peripheral Manager. And uh, that Peripheral Manager, uh, you can add services to it, remove services to it. And a service, like I said before, is just a bunch of uh, characteristics inside it. So, um, it's just a matter of adding services and adding characteristics to it. And then you can start advertising um, and stop advertising. And as soon as you get a connection, uh, you can uh, create uh, through the, your delegates method, you can create how to behave uh, depending on who connects or whatever. So I highly recommend, recommend uh, you folks to go uh, through this uh, documentation. Uh, you can come up with uh, very, very good uh, applications uh, uh, using this. Uh, you can create, for instance, um, some game that, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, a game that uh, if two persons are closely together, uh, you can check uh, if that person is there or something else. Or even you can share data between uh, two devices using this. Um, so yeah, where to go from here? Um, there, there are two sessions in the WWDC uh, 2012, um, which covers basically everything rela related to core Bluetooth. Um, and there is another session and the uh, drop 13 uh, that uh, adds some more information regarding privacy and permissions. And you can also uh, get uh, standard, uh, uh, sorry, uh, services and uh, characteristics from the developer page uh, in the Bluetooth Foundation. And that's it.